Now, emergency crews are cleaning after a serious wreck in Greene County. We've been following this story since just before 4 o'clock this morning. Brooke Moore joins us live with breaking developments. Marsha, we're here on the exit ramp to Wilmington Pike. If you're headed northbound on 675, just within the last 15 minutes, they did remove a victim from the car. We're going to take you to the scene here. You're going to see obviously a lot of flashing lights. It may be hard to see because it's a little dark over there now, but there is a car that's in the ditch just over there in the corner. And I was standing out here when they removed that victim a little bit earlier, and uh, the victim was yelling, was screaming. And we just talked to an official. Obviously, that person was coming. Uh, so they're still investigating, though, what caused the driver to lose control. They are obviously going to investigate things like alcohol, speed. It's still very early on, but from a driving standpoint, you can still get off the uh, exit ramp here. You're going to see a car passing by now. So they have it down to one lane, just the very right lane. But obviously, as the morning goes on, this has the potential to back up, depending how long they're going to be out here cleaning this up. Also, on Wilmington Pike, as you get off, if you turn left here, they also have that down to one lane. So really this area is just going to be extremely congested as they continue to investigate and also get that car out of the ditch, clear this crash scene. We're told that that victim was taken by care flight to Miami Valley Hospital. They couldn't tell us his condition or you know how he's doing this morning. So that's something we will stay on top of. And coming up here, Brittany will have another update for you on this area if you need to come through here this morning. We'll be out here and we'll continue to pass along the very latest information. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today, working for you. All right.